Sup nerds, this is gonna be a little different video, because in this video, I'm gonna be showcasing a couple of builds that I and my friends have made on a server I call Melonpire. All the stuff that's made out of melons is mine, and anything that is not made out of melons is not mine. That, yep, 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 that's about it. Uh, go enjoy the tour! This is the first build I did on this server. Okay, I know it's super ugly, but it's my melon farm. It's how I got all my melons, all my blocks that I got to build basically everything. Okay, uh, it's ugly. It's it's bad. But basically, as soon as I started on this server, I immediately started grinding for all the materials for this farm exactly. And it gives me all the melons I will ever need to build whatever I want out of melons. Uh, yep. Okay, moving on. This is my melon castle. This is my home, this is my base, this is where I do all the things that I need to do, like crafting, smelting, anything, this this is my home, okay? Uh, this is Grian's castle from his castle tutorial, made out of watermelon, and, you know, some blocks are swapped, uh, but yeah, that that's about it on that, uh, this is the outside, this is some melon waterfalls I made, just to go out the front, I think they look nice, um, around the side of this build I think it looks good the outside it's it's green so you're not gonna go wrong um we got a bit of um hmm bit of leaks back here whatever whatever this is and th that's about it for the outside inside wise we have this gate here we have the opening this entrance I like this is, once again, crafting, smelting, everything. Oh, uh, this is my head wall. This is where I keep all the heads I get. Uh, because we have the vanilla tweak head mod. Yep. We have all of this. This is my cat cedar. This is my cat Melanie. And this is my cat juice. Uh, I, I like the feng shui. I like the floor here. This is my storage. This is my plans wall. Uh, a lot of stuff of this did not happen. Uh, this is my main inner chest. I don't need to show you everything. This is our meeting room with the fireplace and some tables that guests can sit around or chill around whatever it's very open i like it very cool we're gonna be coming back to this fireplace later anyways second floor you get up to it by going up this water uh dip straight it helps but i usually try it and this is my melon throne this is what i recorded the start of this video on it's also my bed and this was made for me by my dearest brother, and it's awesome, it looks awesome, it's very cool. Um, this is the patio, I guess. This little area here. Uh, yep, that, that's about it for the castle. Oh, one thing. My favorite feature is when you're about to go to bed, the sun sets right along here. And it looks sick. Anyways. Yep, that, that, that's it. Cool. Moving on. This is the little town I made. Uh, for all the residents of Melonpire. The Melonpire. This is where said residents would live. I've made all these little houses in this town, and I'm very proud of them. I think they look good. I like the architecture. Uh, the inside, you may ask. How, how does the inside of these houses look? Beautiful! That, I know, they look amazing. Uh, I did not have time to make the inside of the houses. As we are, um, currently updating to 1.20 and starting a new server. Uh, so I wanted to get this area done fast and did not build inside. Which kind of sucks, but I think it looks cool nonetheless. Then, moving on. I'm gonna ignore that to my right. These are the mines. I think it looks pretty sick here. When you come down here this way, you can see this is where the melon pyre would mine for all the different materials they would need. And um, it's an interesting puddle here. A little less interesting puddle here. And, um, well, that we have to be mining for something here. And would you look at this? It's, it's insane. It's crazy. It's, it's melon. You think, yeah, melons. You think farming is the only, no, melons. That's great, that's amazing, it's crazy. 
then we mine them from the earth because we gotta get multiple sources of melons and at how they got down here I, I i i don't know i don't know how they got down here that's crazy i don't know i i, I don't know what could have done that anyways moving on this is the bank i think it looks spectacular welcome uh obviously the inside looks really cool as well um it's it's kind of flat but i like it i especially enjoyed working on the roof of this not necessarily the roof itself but the side of the roof i like sides of roof i think they could, they're cool i could work on the side of your roof all day on the top eh, that's a little less cool uh but yes that that, that is my bank facade Anyways, moving on over here, we have my armor slash blacksmith slash anything to do with metal worker over here. Um, obviously, he works outside on his little porch uh, with, you know, like out here so he can not be as hot because of how hot it is in inside because there isn't inside. But anyways, he has all the stuff he needs to work out here. He has his tools on the wall. He has some tools here. He has a sword he's been working on, and it can get, it can get quite lonesome working out here. I'm gonna be honest. So, he also has a rubber ducky, which is one of my favorite aesthetics to this build. Anyways, moving on, we have this lovely path here, which uh, it it may just look like a path, but I really like it. It's a good path. It does its purpose well. I spent time on it and it makes me smile uh over here we got this little tinier smaller path but uh, probably has a good personality path and we come to one of my favorite houses here uh my favorite uh, it's it's one of the smaller houses that that one's probably the smallest there but this this is one of my favorite just because it has kind of an inside wow you've got a clock you got what a hat rack and a window that goes out here and you can look at all the stuff over here i think it looks nice i like it and when you're on the other side of the window you can see in and it looks fire all right that is that moving on this is the town hall uh it looks pretty cool i like how it looks uh i think it's pretty nice from above it has a cool roof too um yeah i i, I think it looks good i think also, I had a lot of fun working on the side of this roof because, yeah, I think it looks chill. And you may be wondering, what is inside Town Hall? Because it's Town Hall for a reason, right? WRONG! I just needed to give it a name on that empty space up there. There is nothing in this part. Upstairs! There is something, but I'll show you at the end of the video. Meaning, if you got this far in the video, you should watch the end because I think it's pretty cool. But also, maybe consider subscribing and if you like these builds maybe stick around because when we do update to 1.20 i think i'm gonna be making content on that server with friends which i think that's gonna be sick i like builds probably won't be melon related but yeah anyways moving on this here is the well of this fine little town here and um i, I know i've kind of been ignoring it but uh, it, it's a it's a little uh, a little dirty a little interesting stuff coming out of it uh maybe it was once nice now now it's um yeah like this i think it looks cool i like it it and it really uh fits as a nice centerpiece to this little town here this is my melon windmill and farm this is another uh lore place of where i the melon pyre gets its melons because the farm down there is not part of the lore. This is this is where I get all my melons. All these melons never once have they been harvested. But at least it explains where they got the melons. Maybe. Who knows? This is a nice windmill with melons. But yes, it has a purpose. We have this little villager guy. And I had a problem with storing my melons because um just chucking him in chest was getting too crowded and I didn't like it so you know what I made I made a super complicated overrated chest okay here's how it works okay this this little villager dude is gonna help me explain 
Okay, so first you touch his pimple, and it pops out a melon box. This box has all the melons you're gonna need. It's completely full of melons. And then I can go over there and use the melons on whatever I need to use them on. Then, if I ever get another box of full melon blocks, uh, I'll put it here, and it'll detect if it has a full amount of melons in it. And if it does, it'll eat it and put it back over here. It's just, it's just a really complicated chest. That, that, that's all it is. Looks cool, though. That, yep, yep, that's, that's about it for this. The last little detail that I said I would show you about this place, and why this town is a little, um, green and strange. If you actually look over the fireplace here, there's a little, there's a little, yeah, it's a little map, but if you if you go through the map, ah, you see, the melons come from somewhere, right? And this is where they come from. It's insane. It's crazy. It's a giant watermelon seed, and it's chilling under this castle. And it has vines. It's sick. I think it looks sick. I think it's cool. And it's the reason things have been turning into melon. Uh, th this this is one of my favorite lore bits. Lore bits from any of my builds. I like it very much. Lee. Anyways, moving on. The next part of this video is going to be a little montage of a bunch of builds that you've already seen that I just showed you here and a bunch of builds made by my friends and now um a uh, little little spoiler for you my friends they can build better than me that they, they, they are they're they are better at building than i am but i it's it's too cool to not show anyone they're 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 really good uh you might have seen them in the background already but we're gonna have a montage of that and then then a little yeah at the end all right uh, go and enjoy the montage. Goodbye. I hope you enjoyed that, but now on to the last thing that I had planned for this video uh, that I said I would show y'all, the top layer up here, it's me, 
That's crazy. I'm moving melon block and everything. This, this is my museum. This is my museum about things that have happened on this server that mean something to me, and just also about me. Uh, on this server, particularly. Uh, as you can see, I have melon. So, uh, on this server, right, there's gonna be a world download for this server that I believe I'm gonna be able to put in the description if you want it. But, I also, and friends also, like to have it. Have the download just for ourselves. It's just so we can go look back and reminisce. But this is my armor, which I will leave here. My... My average hotbar. I'll save you all of me doing my inventory into this barrel for average inventory. But that's what's going to be in there. And here, here's my favorite part. And what I'll leave y'all with. Random garbage that means something. Okay, this is random things from this server that mean something to me. And basically all of it is inside jokes. So this. And then. Huh? Then we have this book. Uh, I'll stop on each page. Not for that long though. You can pause if you want. You're not getting this back. Uh, th this was my sugar box. That was um. It's supposed to be my richities that stayed in my inner chest, but this is what I amassed. I, I did not do much on the diamond front on this server. You're not getting context for this? Yeah. Or this. This, this is a silk touch diamond pickaxe. This is a short box. I'm gonna stop commentating. And there it is. Yep. And that's... That's this server. Uh, I was originally gonna do videos on here, but I didn't because uh, I did not find the time to. But maybe on this next one, I will. Uh, go ahead. If you made it this far, tell me in the comments if that's something that you would watch and not just Skywars fights edits, even though those are, those are fun to do. Uh, forgive me for not uploading for a bit. I've had, I've been recovering from strep throat, and that sucks. Um, but yeah, that that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Bye.